Hello, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert tick boxes and cross boxes into Google Docs using a very clever little tool which allows you to draw the symbol you want to insert. To insert a tick box, a cross box, or indeed any symbol in Google Docs, the first thing you need to do is head over to the Insert menu and then down to Special Characters. Now when you click on Special Characters, this panel here appears, and on the left-hand side you do indeed have a list of characters, and you have menus at the top which allow you to uh, narrow those down and search for the sort of thing you're looking for, which is all very well if you know what sort of category it's likely to be in. But here's the really powerful thing with inserting characters in Google Docs. There's this little blank panel on the right hand side. Now if I want a tick, all I have to do is draw a tick. And the search results on the left hand side show me all of the symbols which are anything like the sort of drawing I've produced. I can have a little look through this and say yes, the heavy check mark, that's the one I want. Click on that and it's inserted into my document. Let's try that with a different one. Let's try doing it with a tick inside a box. So first of all, I'm going to draw a box, and you'll see I'm using an ordinary mouse, it's not very neat, uh, but straight away it has narrowed down the search results to boxes or squares. The next thing I'm going to do is draw a tick inside my box, and there you are. You can see the very first result here is the tick mark in a square. Click on that, and there we are, it's inserted automatically into my document. I can do exactly the same thing, of course, with crosses. So I can say, let's have a box with a cross inside it. And there we are. The first result is that ballot box type symbol of the cross inside a square. So that's how to insert ticks, tick boxes, crosses and cross boxes into Google Docs. And of course, it's extremely useful if you want to insert a symbol that you can see in your head roughly. You know the sort of thing you're looking for, but there's no way you know uh, where it will be in this panel here. For example, there's a symbol which a lot of people use as a smiley face, which is a little bit like that. You'd never know which symbol it is, but the moment you draw an even roughly um, accurate version of it, you can see straight away that the katakana letter uh, psi is there, um, if, should you wish to insert symbols like that. Uh, so it's a very powerful little tool um, for inserting symbols, uh, probably more powerful, more useful, more intuitive for most people um, than using something like uh, the Microsoft Office insert symbol tool. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up before you go. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, why not? Uh, click the subscribe button now and you'll be first in line to know when new little tips and useful tools like this are published. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.